A Broken Arrow special needs student will graduate this spring, but others facing new state testing guidelines may not be so fortunate. Two News reporter Sarah Goldenberg has been following the story for us, and she's here to explain tonight. Sarah. Karen, the Chatta family is fighting the Oklahoma Department of Education over a federal civil rights violation. Now they have some help. State lawmakers are stepping in to change the law. This is one of the ways Mary Washer, an autistic senior high student, communicates to the world. You can say hello. Say hello. Hi. Her mom, Angela, says Mary was failing. She needs help from color coding, and that's allowed under her federally supported Individualized Education Program, or IEP. But new ACE test requirements banned color coding for testing. The actual violation. Um, is that the state is trying to say what modifications and accommodations a child can have. But Angela says after more tests, the IEP team expects Mary to graduate. It doesn't matter what OCR says, it doesn't matter what the state says, Mary now has done it on her own and she will graduate and get a diploma. State Representative J.D. Nolan wants to amend the ACE legislation. Under her bill, special needs students could still graduate even if they don't pass the tests. The final word would be up to the IEP team and the school district. I think the sooner we do something for these students, the better. And, uh, you know, I know that their families probably feel that way. I know that their families want to be able to celebrate those achievements. Angela knows Mary may never be able to use her diploma. But she came too close to losing it all. It's been blood, sweat, and tears just getting through the 12 years that we have. And so the Chatta family expects to hear from the Office of Civil Rights on their complaint in the next three weeks. The state bill passed through committee and will head to the House and Senate next. Sarah Goldenberg, 2 News, works for you. Thank you, Sarah. Now, the Oklahoma Department of Education tells 2 News that there are mechanisms in place to accommodate special needs students during testing.